Okay, I'm back today. I'm going to do another video, so it's still got my hair done like this. Um, but I had to change shirts because it's freezing cold in here, and that was a paper-thin shirt I was wearing. Okay, now a couple of people, quite a few in fact, have requested and asked me to go over in detail my cleaning schedule that I've made up. So I thought I would do that right now. And um, first thing is, back in December when I was thinking about simple changes, um, I saw this little notepad at the dollar stop at Target and I thought, oh, so cute. I will use this. So here's what it looks like. It's got um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a little calendar of the month and then a little um, place to write a list or something. It's really small. It's like, I'd say four by four or maybe five by five. Um, I love this. And it was working, but it's but now it's not working anymore. And let me explain to you why. Um, I was watching a YouTube video, uh, gosh, a long, long time ago, like last year, and they were talking about to do list. And the person said, and that was like their specialty, like organization or something. And the person said that you should really only have three things on your to do list a day, like your top three things that really must get done. If you need to put 14 things that must be done today, you probably should have started a couple of days ago, if you know what I mean. Now, I work best under pressure, so that's something that I do a lot, but it's probably not the best. And I have done things where I've had an entire notebook uh, pay, pay for page full of things to do. But that's usually like the week before, thing, you know, the day before Thanksgiving or, you know, the, a couple days before Christmas, let's get all this set and done. And Okay, but normally, on a normal day, three things is really a good amount that you can get done, and it's your most important things. So don't, if you put like 10 things down, and a lot of them are easy or not important, you're probably going to go to those first because you get a quick payoff on those. But anyway, three things. So I was doing that, and then I had my cleaning schedule that I showed you. What was happening? For me, I don't know, moron 101. I was either doing this or I was doing this. But to do two, it just wasn't working. I need everything in one spot. Well, this is too small, so I'm going to give that to my older daughter. I think maybe she could use it. Now, I told, I showed you before that Scott made me blank ones so that I wouldn't mess up my little page. Well, what I've decided to do anyway is I thought I would make a permanent list. Well, life's just not permanent. And I want to be completely flexible in everything I do. So I'm not going to do this on a permanent list. I'm going to write it in each week. And I'll talk about that in another video about my Sunday. That's a special day that I do certain things, and it's just great. Okay. And that, uh, that will make sense when you see that video. Okay, so what I've decided to do is use this spreadsheet that Scott made me. And he's going to make bigger squares. Like this is a bigger squared one. And what I'm going to do is put my top three things here, and then I'm going to put um, my cleaning thing, what I what my cleaning thing is for that day, and then underneath I'm going to put dinner. And that's just going to prompt me to think about dinner before 6.30 at night because I've gotten terrible about that. Now, before I tell you specifically what I do each day, I do want to preface this and say, if you have two, three little kids, this is not going to work for you because you're going to have to be doing a lot more than this. But this is just the basics, and I'm down to three people. My daughter's never home, so there's not a lot of people messing up the house. Um, my husband's neater than me, so I never have to pick up after him. My mom's laughing like right now because my dad's the opposite. Um, so this is easy for me because I'm on the downhill slide of being a homemaker and having to do so much in a day, okay? Now that's great when you're young, you've got the energy to do it. And I'm getting the energy too, but okay. So for example, today, my top three things, make some YouTube videos because I knew Scott was gonna be out of the house and that's my only opportunity to do it because I cannot do these when other people are in the house. It's so, I'm so self-conscious. YouTube videos, okay, I've already get to check that off because this is my second one. Um, work on Layla's book. Now, and for the, at 4th of July, I showed you the book I made for my grandson. I make a photo book for my grandchildren each year and give it to them on their birthday. And it is a book of the 
previous year. It starts at their birthday the year before and it ends right before their birthday. So then I give them the book and we're taking pictures of their next birthday. So that'll go in next year's book, okay? I've got to get that done. Her birthday's the end of February. I really want to order it the first week of February. It takes about seven days and that way I can have that on time. So work on Layla's book. That's on every day this week because my goal is to um, send it out or order it online, click order on Friday. That's my goal. Now, that is the first three things. Oh, and my third thing is pick up Layla. I've got to pick her up from school today at 1.15, take her out for a milkshake, burn some time, and then take her home. My daughter has something she needs to do with her little, with her two-year-old. So that's huge. That's on my list. And believe me, my phone's going to beep at me in about an hour to remind me to go get her because... If it's not something I do every day, it's hard to remember things like that. But I'm not going to forget her. But anyway, so that's my three things. Pick up Layla and spend time with her. Work on Layla's book and do some YouTube videos. That's my big three things for today. Now, I draw a line. Now, I'm going to color code this too, I think. I think that would be good to have my to-dos in one color, my cleaning in another, and dinner in another. So, today's cleaning was vacuum. Vacuum the entire downstairs. That's all I do on Mondays. Because I don't want to get up on Monday morning and have a bunch of chores to do. That's not a fun way to start your week. Do you agree? So all I'm going to do on Mondays is vacuum. That's easy. I can get that done in not a whole lot of time. So that's my thing on Monday is vacuum. Tuesday, I'm going to have my three to-dos or whatever. Then I'm going to have um, bathrooms and kitchen and glass. That's clean all my glass tabletops um, inside and out on the eye. Um clean the two bathrooms downstairs, Lexi does the one upstairs, and clean the kitchen and the fridge and the pantry, kind of tweak those and clean them out. Now this is deep clean. Obviously I clean my kitchen every day. I wipe my counters every day. I, the, there's never a dish in the sink at night when I go to bed, but this is really, really clean. Okay. Now, if you've got a bunch of kids, you're going to have to clean the bathrooms more than once a week. I promise you that. But I'm doing a deep clean once a week of the bathrooms. And you might think this is gross, like you might deep clean your house every day. Some people do that, and that's okay. That's just not me. Wednesday. This is a very important day. All I do on Wednesdays is pay the bills, okay? And that takes me 10 minutes because I do online bill pay. If you don't do online bill pay, I insist that you do it because you just need to do this in your life. It is so easy. It is so fast. It is the most wonderful invention ever. And, yeah, someone could steal my identity, but whatever. I hope they don't. Okay, so why would I only have a 10-minute job on Wednesdays? Because Wednesday's catch-up day. If I was busy on Tuesday, like I'm not about to say, oh, no, Mildred, I can't go to lunch today. I've got to clean my bathrooms and my kitchen. Are you kidding me? I would never do that. So if I have something fun to do on Tuesday, guess what? Wednesday's catch-up day. I can do Wednesday. I can do those things because all I'm doing is paying the bills. Does that make sense? All right. Thursday. Uh, laundry and vacuum again. Vacuum the whole downstairs again on Thursday and laundry day is Thursday and that's laundry for myself and my husband. It's two or three loads. I mean, it's just not that much, you know, separate lights and darks, boom, you're done. But while the, va the laundry is going on, this is the day I do a rotating chore. These are those chores that you never get done because you put them off and you frankly forget, forget about them. Something like Clean the baseboards, um, something like clean the blinds, something like um, vacuum out underneath the, the couch, the cushions in the, on the couches and chairs, okay? Something like clean the ceiling fans, um, just different things like that. Um, now, when I say vacuum, that also would mean I might need to do the floor, the damp mop the floors, okay? Anyway. Okay, so that day is my rotating chore day. When the vacuum, the laundry's going, I'm in that mode. I've got, you know, what? It takes a load of laundry to wash. It takes, what, 30 minutes? So there's 30 minutes. I can get so much done, and I try to beat the clock and get it, and then I switch the clothes over, and I have another 30, 45 minutes while one load goes and one load dries. That's my rotating chore day. Um, Friday is my sheets and towels day and to change the beds. That's my day, Friday, sheets and towels, and um, 
Friday is also the day I clean my laundry room. Like I wipe it down and laundry, my laundry room is by the back, the door to the garage. And that's kind of why, where things will kind of gather and clutter because I can shut the door. Um, Friday, while I put the sheets and towels in, I pick up anything that doesn't need to go. Something else I learned from organizing like Jen, I have a basket that now hers is in a specific spot. But when I'm cleaning and doing this stuff, I carry a little basket with me. And when something's out of place, I pitch it in the basket. And when I'm done for the day, I go take that basket and put everything where it goes. Okay? Because if I see something out of place and I take it back to my bedroom, when I get my bedroom, I start doing stuff back there. It's insane. Okay. Now, dusting, things like that. I kind of, I haven't really figured out the specific day I want to do dusting. But I've really figured out that I don't think I'm going to dust as much as I used to which is never, no. I'm gonna dust, but I'm not gonna kill myself with it because the other day I killed myself. I dusted everything in this house. Guess what? The sun shined in the window. I could see dust by the next morning. This is an endless battle and it's not a battle I'm gonna join. I'm just not doing it. I'm gonna dust some, but I'm just not gonna, I know that sounds terrible. Are y'all gonna call the people that say, your house is dirty. I don't know. Who are those people? I was thinking of Child Protective Services, but my child's 18. It's okay if our house is dusty. She can move out if she doesn't like it. I don't know why I'm saying all that. Okay. What else? Okay. Saturday is free day or outdoor stuff. Like, like this weekend, we have got to trim the palms. Because when your palm trees, when the bottom fronds die, which they do, they fall straight down. And then your tree looks so bad and we've got to do it and I say we because they're so tall now Scott has to get a ladder out and it's very dangerous and yes last year he did it without telling me and without and I think I told y'all this and he went fell down the tree and cut his arms all up because he was tangled in the ladder and he was either go down with the ladder and it was on a hill the back of my house is, goes down behind the pool so he was going to go down the ladder down the hill tangled in the ladder or he grabbed the tree and slid all the way down to the ground. It was not good. So I've made him promise me not to do that kind of chore without me. But guess what he did the other day? Yeah, I left home. My entryway is right there. It's 16 foot ceiling right there. There's a pendant light there. We've been in this house 10 years. It just burned out for the first time. He got the ladder against and leaned out into the middle of the room, grabbed the pendant light, got his hand. It was so dangerous. I was so mad, but he was really proud when I got home and he had done it. But I told him, don't you do that again. I don't want to have to nurse you while you heal from a broken hip or leg or ankle or anything like that. Out of control. Okay. So that's it. My What I'm going to do is this is all going to be once a week, I do this, and I'm going to talk about that in my next video. And on the back, I think when he prints this out for me, on the back, I'm going to have a long list of rotating chores that I know. And then when it's that day, Thursday, I'll just kind of look at it and go, oh, okay, I think I'll clean the blinds today. Oh, I think I'll do the baseboards today. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. And this goes without saying that I pick up my house every night. There's not any clutter. My room is clean. You know, I clean every day. This is just specific things to do. So that's it. I hope that helped. Um, and I forgot to say, if you want to write this down, get a pen and paper because I'm, I, I can't, someone asked me if I could do a PDF. First of all, I don't know how to attach a PDF to a YouTube video and I don't write on my blog anymore, so I can't put it over on there. So yeah, if you want to go through this torturous of watching this again and write stuff down, you can, but just get your own deal. You know what you want to do. You know how much time you want to spend. You know what your family's like, how many kids are in the house. If you work, all those things will totally change this. But people have asked me, please share. So I shared. And come back for my next video. It's going to be about Sunday because I didn't talk about Sunday. Bye.